Hello and welcome to San Diego. Today we're going to explore Black's Beach, which is on Torrey Pines State Park. And um, we're going to walk from south to north and explore the whole length of the beach. There's an interesting house at the south end and um, it's the state park at the north end. And it's also a nude beach, but we're going to walk through it. To get here, you park at a road called La Jolla Farms Road. And it's an easier way to get to Black's Beach because you don't have to take this treacherous dirt road to get to the beach. It's a paved road all the way down. So I'll show you what that entrance looks like too. And right now you just park on a neighborhood road. You can see all the cars. These are all people down at Black's Beach that just park along this road. There's a ton of really cool houses here as well. And yeah, I'll show you the entrance to the main road that you take to walk down to Black's Beach, which is pretty easy to walk down and up because it's all paved. So this is the entrance that you take to walk down to Black's Beach. And it's usually gated off most of the time. And we parked right down that road and just walked across here. And then you just take this road all the way down. You can still even see really cool houses that are on the cliff's edge up here. So as you walk down this road, you start to get really amazing views of the ocean because you're really high up above the Pacific. So as soon as you come around this corner here, there's a nice little view spot you can look at. And a lot of people take their electric bikes down because it's easier to bring your surfboards back up. So here's the first view spot you can see the ocean from as you walk down. And then you just keep going down this road that wraps through the cliffs here all the way to the beach. Another epic house on the cliff's edge. It's a really cool walk down because you can see all the different layers of the sandstone and all the different cactus and sage growing naturally here in San Diego. So we made it to the bottom of the hill and uh, this is the first point when you can see how high up the tide is, how good the waves are, how many people are on the beach. And it is December, it's about 75, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's pretty clear today, so there's probably going to be a lot of people, even based on the parking up there, there's a lot of people here. So this is the base parking lot. You need a permit to park here. There's bathrooms right here, but these are the only bathrooms 
there's no bathrooms or any sort of access point from the rest of the beach so if you have to go to the bathroom go here and this is the first glimpse of how busy the beach is oh the tide's up high so a few surfers there's actually a lot of surfers out there And all these cliffs are sandstone, so they're notorious for collapsing after heavy rains. That's why there's so many warning signs. It's very high tide. Usually there's about 50, 25 to 50 yards of empty beach that you can hang out on, but since it's winter, the tides are higher. So there's less beach. We'll try walking up further north to see if it opens up more. Yeah, you can see surfers off in the distance. There's an interesting mushroom house at the very end, at the very south end of the beach. It looks like the tide's up, so I can't get too close to it. I'll try to get close to it later, but This is a little map of Black's Beach. So this is a state park. And you can pause the screen if you want to read that. Yeah, there's snowy egrets here. California sheephead fish. Two-spot octopus. Epic sandstone cliffs everywhere. It feels like another planet when you're walking along the beach here. So right now we're gonna walk to the south side of the beach to try and get a look of the mushroom house that's there. And it looks like the tide might get in the way, so. And that's the road that we walked down just now. And so this is headed towards the south side of the beach. And I'll see how far I can go. Seagull tracks. A lot of really cool birds here. And right now you can even see the cliffs even better, all the different layers in the sandstone. And that's Scripps Pier right out there. I made another video where we were walking on the Hoya Shores and we walked all the way to Scripps Pier from the other side. Big chunks of seaweed. We didn't walk too far, we just came in right there and walked down. So the mushroom house I wanted to show you is right there, but the tide's not going to let us walk up to it. Normally there's a ton of beach here, but yeah, in the 60s someone built a really round guest house that was designed to withstand rock falls, water, earthquakes, and there's an elevator that goes up the cliff to their actual residence, and it's a guest house, and I think UCSD owned it for a period of time, and they would let professors stay there on sabbatical, but right now I think it's empty, but I'll post a photo of it so you can see what it looks like, but this is about as far as we can walk on the south side of Black Beach. So the further north you go, turns into um, 
Torrey Pines hiking and cliffs where you can go up the cliffs and hike. There's a nude beach from here to there. And yeah, we'll just walk up further north and further explore. Ooh, yeah, the tide keeps coming up higher and higher. So hopefully we'll be able to walk around those cliffs over there. This is where the lifeguards have their station. They have a little hut on the top of the hill there. A little palm, palm leaf hut. Got some shade. Probably the most epic looking cliff here. This towers over you. And there's a house at the very top of it. So we're walking further north of the beach and we're entering nude beach territory. So I don't know how much I can film. I don't see anyone naked. I don't see any. It hasn't started yet. Yeah, it's coming up, but just wanna make sure that it's gotta be careful when you film on a obviously nude beach. And you can always see evidence of the cliffs collapsing here. There was a big cliff collapse here about a year ago. I'll post a photo of that. But it came out all the way to the water. But you'll see areas like this all over San Diego because all of San Diego is sandstone along the beach. Yeah, it looks like the tide is staying out and there's more beach coming up, so. There's another access point for Black's Beach. It's called the Ho Chi Minh Trail because it's kind of sketchy to walk down. And a lot of people take that route, but on the weekends, I like parking at La Jolla Farms Road because it's free parking all day. During the week, it's two hour only parking. And when you, park, when you want to take the Ho Chi Minh Trail, you have to park at the glider port, but they close the gate to that at five. So just things to think about. So this is an unofficial trail that goes up to the top. I don't actually know where that one starts. But the other main trail, the Ho Chi Minh Trail, is further north. And it comes out by all these volleyball nets. And that's usually the official start of the nude beach. Now look at this cliff. It looks like a tower. I don't think the GoPro is doing justice to it, but it looks like someone just set it there. Some giant set it there. Very surreal. This is the first part. You have to walk through water to get to the other side. And this is only during the winter you have to do this. <laughs> that was nothing. So I think this was the main beach collapse, cliff collapse on Black's Beach. Usually this went back another 20 yards. Not cold. It's okay. So once you pass that point, the beach really opens up. We're at the halfway point of the beach walking north and those cliffs in the very distance that's the official like Torrey Pines cliff area where you can go on other hikes. What else is interesting is this is a glider port so there's a lot of paragliders here. It's only a few out today but it looks really cool when there's 
a few dozen of them flying around. There's naked people all around me, so this is all I can film. Not too many. Not too many, but I want to be careful. <laughs> All the seagulls are coming up to our spot wanting munchies. You can see more of the paragliders flying off the cliff. to pretty much the north side of Black's Beach and that's where it turns into Torrey Pines, the hiking area. Well, the, there's not enough updraft or thermals for the paragliders to stay up, so a lot of them are landing on the beach right now. The tide went out as we were walking south on the beach so I think I'm going to try and look at this mushroom house that's on the very end of the beach. So it's pretty annoying to get to this house when the tide is high. All these rocks are kind of hard to step on but and that's the mushroom house right up there. It's pretty uh, graffitied up. I've never seen it this marked up before. No one really comes over here and I don't even think this house is still in use. There's no, there's no windows in it. It's just all boarded up now. It's probably a lot of money just to maintain this. Yeah, this is the mushroom house. And then you can see this uh, track that goes all the way up to the property up there. So there's like an elevator that comes down to give you access to this house. So usually there's beach right there and you can walk all the way to La Jolla Shores but the tide is high, it's the winter time and you have to go over these rocks to get here which is kind of annoying but yeah this is the mushroom house not much to look at honestly it's just been this very strange house that's that's been in um, on Black's Beach for many, many years, since 1968. And there's no way to get in. This is uh, considered private residence. It says on that white sign right there. So you can't access it, they have it chained up. Even 
when you look online, you can't really find photos of what the inside of the mushroom house looks like. Which I don't think there's much to see, but... Man, it's really annoying to walk on this. But yeah, that's the mushroom house. This is the very south side of Black's Beach on Torrey Pine State Park. And we walked from all the way from the north side right there. Yeah, there was no graffiti on it before. Yeah, I think the, I don't know if it's COVID or maybe just the storm. Yeah. It's on. I think it's just been out of commission for so long. So. That's pretty much Black's Beach on the south side is the Mushroom House. The further north you walk, there's more naked people. And then at the very end, it's Torrey Pines. If you want to go on some hiking on the cliffs. Um, really chill beach. It's like I said, it's December and it's like 70, 75 degrees right now. Maybe 70 now, it's later. And you can still go on the beach and enjoy it. Um, Tons of wildlife here, there's surfing, there's a lot to see here. There's amazing houses on top of these cliffs. It's a really unique part of San Diego. There's paragliders. Um, definitely worth a day if you're visiting. I always like exploring this area. It feels like another planet. Whenever it rains, these collapse and people find dinosaur bones and fossils in the hills. It's just a really interesting part of San Diego.